And all right, guys, so in today's video, I've got a pretty cool one for you. We're checking out the AutoWit SuperCap 2. Now, uh, this is basically a solid state capacitor that you can use as a jump pack, and it'll actually charge up off of your dead battery to build up enough amperage inside this capacitor to jumpstart your vehicle. Now, this isn't gonna be a battery replacement for you, sadly, but if you are stuck in a situation where you leave your lights on and your battery is pretty much dead and just has, doesn't have enough to crank over your engine, you know, this thing will basically save you if you're stuck in that situation. Now, this unit is pretty cool. You can pretty much just set it and forget it, just toss it in the back of your truck, and then one day when you actually need it, just hook it up to a dead battery. It'll build up enough amperage off that dead battery so you can actually start your vehicle. They claim it'll take about three minutes on a partially dead battery. You can turn on your lights at least or something, or your interior lights. And then as the voltage drops, it progressively gets longer. And if you want to charge this thing over like a USB uh, power bank or something, it's going to take like 30 minutes to an hour to charge. So I don't recommend that, but you know, that option is there. Now, if somebody drives by and they've got a cigarette lighter, you can basically plug this unit right in their cigarette lighter. And in about maybe a minute, 30 to two minutes, it'll be fully charged. You can just walk over to your vehicle, connect it up to your terminals, press a button, hop in, start your vehicle, and you're ready to go. Now, the cool part about this is because it's a solid state capacitor, it doesn't have any batteries, doesn't require any maintenance. It's not like the regular lithium ion, you know, packs that normally you have to charge every few months, you know, every three to six months, or the lead acid batteries, you have to charge every like one month. And then because it's just sitting in your vehicle after two or three years, the things are dead. Now, the way I'm going to structure this video, I think, is I'm going to first show you what comes inside this box, basically what you're going to get with the unit. Then I'm going to go over the overview of basically what this unit can and can't do and the different specifications it has. And then once I get done doing that, we're actually going to jump over to a Ford F-250 Super Duty I've got in the yard. And it's got pretty much a dead battery, hasn't been used in a few months, barely holds a charge. And it's got a V10 Triton in it that I want to say is a 6.4 liter gas. And this thing says it'll do up to 7. So we're going to be pushing it pretty much to its exact limits. And, you know, if it can start that V10 over there, it can probably start just about anything. You know, maybe at some point I'll toss this thing in the freezer or during the winter, you know, when it gets down to negative 10 out here, you know, I'll give it a shot and see how well it actually jump starts a dead vehicle. So, all right, guys, let's jump right into the video. I think I'll start off with showing you what's inside the box and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so this is what the box is going to look like. These are the specs it's got on the back. Got to flip this tab down. Now this is what you're gonna be presented with. They actually give you a pretty nice carrying case right here. Set the box aside. And now this is what you're gonna see inside when you open up that carrying case. Now, this is the solid state capacitor right here. Just gonna open that up. That in the box. And so this is what the unit looks like. Basically some disclaimers on the back, you know, pretty self-explanatory. And then this is where all your ports are gonna be on the side. All right guys, so I had to come inside because it was a little too hot for my phone out there. So it actually overheated while I was filming. <laughs> so, continue with the unboxing. Yeah, so it's got some nice warnings on the back for you. Pretty self-explanatory. It's got a little info screen right up here. And then here, where all your charging ports are. So. This is basically, you know, micro USB in, 12 volt DC in, and then these are for your two battery terminals. And then what you wanna do is press this button when you're jump starting, it'll start a little timer. And then once your battery is fully charged, you'll see it on the screen, you press this button again, it'll give you a 10 second countdown, you hop in your vehicle, start it up as soon as you hear like a solid buzzing noise, but we'll see later on in the video, basically exactly how to operate this thing. It's pretty easy to do. And honestly, it's pretty cool that you can use a dead battery to jumpstart your vehicle. Now what you're gonna get is the two classic alligator clips for your vehicle, obviously positive, negative, I think we all know that. Now one thing I really like about this unit is as you can see, this wire goes all the way in and there's no exposed copper in here. Where in some other units I've seen, you know, and I've actually shocked myself before, is there's some copper in here and I once went to grab both of these and somehow when I curled my fingers, I ended up shocking myself. Now, you know, I didn't electrocute myself obviously, but you know, it certainly gave me enough of a jolt to say, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Um, but yeah, these things are pretty cool. And if anybody's ever used like RC cars with LiPo batteries, essentially this reminds me of, you know, the LiPo battery. 
Now let's set these alligator clips aside and we'll move on to what else you get in here. So you're gonna get a small micro USB cable that you can plug into any USB port. I think it'll do about five amps, which isn't a lot. Um, it's either five amps or five watts, but it's gonna basically take. Yeah, so for charging times, it says 12 volts is under three minutes. 6 volts is about 20 minutes, 5 volt USB is about 30 minutes, so it sounds about right. Um, so, the other thing you're going to get is a 12 volt adapter for your cigarette lighter. So let's say your car battery is fully dead, and this thing says like too low voltage for you to actually charge the thing. Somebody can drive by with their vehicle, you can plug this in in maybe 2 or 3 minutes, this thing will be fully charged, then bring it over to your vehicle, press the button, wait for the timer, start your vehicle, ready to go. And so that's pretty much everything this unit comes with. It comes with this nice little info manual if you want to read through the thing. You know, I've already had one of these units, so I don't need to. So let's jump outside, try and start that Ford F-250, see if this thing can actually do it, and then uh, go from there. All right, guys, so now we're over at the Ford F-250 Super Duty. That's got the V10 Triton. I'll pop the hood, see if I can get this thing open, and then... Uh... Okay, so... V10 Triton. I'll bring you guys over to the other side so you get better access to the battery so you can see what's going on. Now, luckily for you, this will only go in one way. It's pretty easy. Essentially a flat side right here. Flat side goes there. Make sure you have a good connection. Once you've done that, Once you've done that, I like to connect positive terminal first, then do my negative one. Now you'll see the unit will actually boot off of the battery. As you can see, the, uh, the battery has zero volts. <laughs> okay, so it actually looks like this thing sat for a little too long where, you know, this battery is fully toast. <laughs> you know, it's probably been like six months, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Now, some people may say, hey, you know, this thing can't start a fully dead battery. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure one of the interior lights on this thing just stays on constantly and is just draining the battery every time. So what we'll do is we'll hop over to my truck. We'll charge up this pack. And uh, once we hit 100%, we'll come back over here. We'll plug the thing in and we'll try jump starting it. And this is probably going to be the ultimate test because this battery is not providing any assistance at all. It's going to be all this jump pack right here that's starting this truck. So let's go over to my truck, plug this sucker in, let her charge up for two or three minutes, and then uh, go from there. Probably gives me a good opportunity to put the windows down too, because it's like 95 out today. So, just gotta uncoil this, take this, plug it in there, and then take the unit. So I'll put my windows down first, otherwise I'm gonna melt in here. <sighs> yeah, the breeze is a little nice today when you're sitting. All right, so, as you'll see, what I'll do is, I guess I'll give you this angle for now. Plug that in. Look at that. Things count up so fast. There we go. 100%, 15.4 volts. Alright, so now. All you've got to do, unplug her from the cigarette lighter. I'll leave that in my truck for now. I'll probably just leave my truck running.
fully dead V10 Triton. I want to say this is a 6.4 liter V10. Fully dead battery. Like there was literally zero charge in that battery. And this tiny little jump pack just started this massive engine. Now I did have to go charge it in my truck. But that's because one of the interior lights inside basically sticks on because of a bad door sensor. So I'm just going to let this thing run. I'll probably let that thing charge up a little bit and then uh, we'll disconnect it and we should be all set. Look at that. We still have 92% charge left in this thing. So what, it used 8% to start the vehicle? Crazy. Now I'm probably going to let it run for a bit and then maybe I'll try and fix that door sensor, but... Hey, look at that, 92%. Now because it's a capacitor, maybe in about two or three days, this thing will fully discharge, but you don't have to worry about it at all. It'll just turn itself off and you'll be good to go. All right guys, so as you saw, you know, this little jump pack is pretty damn powerful. It was able to jump start a V10 Triton. That's a 6.4 liter uh, gas engine. So it can pretty much jumpstart just about anything. Now, the only thing that does suck is obviously this unit, if you've got a fully dead battery like that truck did, where it's got literally zero volts, no charge, nothing, you are gonna have to plug this into something else in order to get a jump. So if you're out in the middle of the woods and you know somehow your battery, you know, you leave your lights on, your battery's fully dead, you know, then this one's kind of gonna strand you. But anything short of that, as long as you've got a little bit of charge left in your battery, you know, like where you go in, you press the start button you just don't have the amperage to start it you know this thing will operate at negative 40 to about 160 degrees fahrenheit so it can pretty much handle just about any conditions now the cool part about this is because it's 100 percent maintenance free like i want to say this guy's got still probably about 80 90 percent charge let's see yes yeah, so right now we're running 12.7 volts 82 percent and as time goes on, it's just gonna slowly discharge itself. And the nice part is, you know, you can come in here, you can touch those terminals. You're not gonna get shocked or anything because it has the anti-shock protection. And like right now the unit's on, but it'll just turn itself off, which will be pretty nice. So you don't have to do anything. Literally all you have to do, put the thing back in, discharge itself, you don't have to touch it at all. Now this thing has got about 10 year lifespan it estimates and you can jump start about 100,000 vehicles. If you're jump starting that many, you probably have some serious problems you gotta look at. And also one thing that's really nice about this unit, you don't have to regularly charge the thing. This guy, you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is basically just set this in the back of your vehicle and then when you do need to get a jump start, either you charge it off somebody else's vehicle or you charge it off your uh, dead battery and it'll start the thing right up. Now, obviously this thing, you know, you can't use it as a battery replacement. That's probably one thing I'd want to emphasize is, you know, like some of the larger style battery packs to have the uh, lead acid battery pretty similar to your car battery you can leave that connected and actually use it in case your battery fully is dead or it doesn't function anymore you know you can use it as a battery replacement with this this will give you about maybe 10 15 seconds worth of uh, the necessary amperage at about 800 amps then after that it's going to pretty quickly dip um, so if you do have a battery or a charging system that's not working properly you know this isn't probably going to be the right solution for you but you know, if you're ever in a pinch where you need to jumpstart your vehicle and your charging system is fine, you know, this will help you out. Um, if you got any questions or anything you want to know about the unit, just comment that down below. I'll try and get back to everybody that I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one, and uh, let me know if you got any other questions. All right, guys, let's see if I can get this done in one shot without somebody driving by. Or the fucking wind picking up. Or the wind and somebody driving by. What a fucking day. Terrible, terrible fucking day to shoot this video. Maybe I'll put this in the end as some blooper. Yeah, we'll see. I'll probably have to censor myself, I swear. But whatever. I'm not monetized yet anyway, so what do I give a shit?